So this is my ninth year at Woodland. I started, um, actually, I started taught in the spring of 2011, and I was hired in the fall of 2011. So actually, this is 10 years. So I went to Cuba in the summer of 2014 for a study abroad with Central. I was there for 10 days. Um, a professor of mine had suggested the program. He ran it. And I was like, oh, absolutely. I definitely want to go to Cuba, um, see what, what, what it's like down there and how life is. So I had like this perception that it was going to be like super dangerous and like I wouldn't be safe, but it wasn't like that at all. The, the Cuban people are probably one of the most friendliest, kindest people I've ever met. Like they would come up to you and talk to you on the streets and like find out where you were from. Um, just very open. Like we had people invite us to their houses, which was kind of weird, but like also really cool at the same time. Uh, but it was just a very interesting um, country, not only because of the like the politics and everything, but also just beautiful with the vegetation and the water. It was just a really nice place to go. Um, I would this is terrible, but I'd have to say my favorite um, experience was when we went, went to the beach because I at this point I've never been to the Caribbean before, and the beaches were so beautiful. And we only went for a day, um, but it was amazing. That's just like the very superficial part that I like. But another interesting part um, that I educationally was we ended up going to Ernest Hemingway's house in Cuba and we were able to like find out about his life um, in general and then find out about specifically his life in Cuba. And I learned a lot about him in Cuba, which was weird because you would think learning more about Hemingway in the United States where he was from. But I learned the most about him in Cuba. When I was finishing up my master's at Central, um, I was super nervous about the comprehensive exam. So it's a huge exam you take at the end of the, your graduate program, but I wasn't confident in myself in taking this exam and passing. So my advisor suggested that I do a uh, special project and I was like, oh, that sounds awesome. So I created a unit plan, which is behind me, and it's a website, it's called Un Paseo por Cuba. So it's um, an eight day lesson plan, which is really like about three to four weeks because our block scheduling but it explains all different aspects of Cuba so we learn about like geography we learn about the history we learn about the revolution with Fidel and we learn um, current day facts and the end of the project they actually have to create their own trip to Cuba so I thought it was really cool to basically show the kids everything that I learned in Cuba but doing it from um, a technological point of view I thought it'd be more fun for them and they could actually kind of experience it the way that I did I mean not exactly but I have been to Spain and Costa Rica and Cuba I think those are the only three so my favorite Spanish-speaking country is Spain only because that is where I found my passion for teaching Spanish um, I did a three-week study abroad in Salamanca which is my favorite place in the entire world um, Salamanca Spain and I try to go back every few years just so I could really go back and practice my Spanish and just like take in the culture that I love so much. So I would say, cause I've been to Spain multiple times and I've mm -hmm. been to Barcelona, I've been to Madrid, I've been to Malaga, I've been to all these cities, but Salamanca always has this special place in my heart and I love the people, the history, and it's a huge um, college city. So you, there's so many people around the world you meet from there. And I have actually suggested my own students. I have two students that I have taught in the last nine years that have also gone to Salamanca and kind of done the same thing I have, which really actually means a lot to me. I feel like not only has it changed my life as a more culturally aware person, but I feel like it brings a lot to my teaching. Like I feel like it makes me more credible and more knowledgeable. And I wanna be able to bring that to my students because at the end of the day, that's my number one. I wanna give my students the best education um, in Spanish that I can and I feel that studying abroad really helps me bring that perspective back to them like an authentic um, piece of evidence that I've brought that I went to the States.